Duncan. Can I trust you with something? Yes, always. You know that. I've been having dreams about a girl on Arrakis. I don't know what it means. Dreams make good stories. Everything important happens when we're awake. Yeah, yeah. You want some muscle? Mm-hmm. No. A. D. N. It's headphones, Neil! Hot take review for the Dune 2021 uh, trailer that just released. It's going to be the version of the film directed by Denis Villeneuve. So I thought I would share some of my initial thoughts and impressions and that sort of stuff related to the film. So right off the bat, the first thing I noticed is that a lot of the effects and Um, presentation of the film looks like it's going to be a lot better than what we've expected. Um, I did not see the Dune 2020, or sorry, the Dune 2000 TV miniseries, but I did watch the film released in 1984, the one with Sting and, um, uh, Patrick Stewart. And I want to say that all the years of, uh, graphics, CGI, And all of that is definitely presented well in this film. So that's the one noticeable difference that you will see. And that, I mean, of course, comes by way of some of the spaceships. And um, I think it's Baron Harkonnen who floats a little bit in a quick scene there. But when they show the fighting scenes between Paul Atreides and I want to probably say Duncan Idaho, maybe um, is where it stands out because the scene with the shields um is a lot better than what we saw from the 1984 version um they're more seamless they're more realistic as far as a personal body shield goes they're you know kind of like a form-fitting suit versus the um uh rectangle cube uh, thing that we saw in the 1984 version so a definite um plus there um and then as far as the general presentation um the 1984 version from memory was one of those kinds of films that um granted they wanted to keep it clean but show or try to present some of the grittiness i guess but not it was presented okay i mean my memory of it was that it wasn't you know too terrible but it's one of those things where i may need to rewatch it just to do a proper comparison but when you watch the dune 2021 trailer you get a little bit more of the um idea that this is a sand planet with spice it's more hazy to um bring the sense of sandstorms um to life a little bit um the presentation of the sandworm is actually pretty good so if you watch that the effects there are nicely done um and it's going to look like it's a or at least from the trailer it didn't seem like like i said mentioned quickly earlier was that it seems like it might be gritty but um it also might bring some of the lightheartedness that we see from i think it was that um jason momoa's character who's playing um duncan idaho um which um that was probably my favorite scene in the film and it's kind i mean as far as the acting it seems like um a similar kind of acting that we saw from jason momoa in aquaman so um in general it looks intriguing um Zendaya as Chani and Rebecca Ferguson as Lady Jessica seem about on par as what we would expect as the um well I think Lady Jessica is potentially part of the Bene Gesserit witches um group of people and then Zendaya as Chani or Chani is um part of the group of freedom fighters on the Arrakis desert so overall it's good stuff there um we didn't get much out of Dave Batista as a Glossu Raban. Um, I think he was the spittle guy from the 1984 Dune. But like I said, I'm going to go rewatch that. But we didn't get too much there aside from a stern look. So I'm kind of curious to see what we get there. And Oscar Isaac as Duke Leto Atreides. Um, so I, I'm intrigued to see more of his character as well. Um, it's kind of going to be a more father-like figure. So kind of... A progression of Oscar Isaac as the general in Rise of Skywalker but taken up a few notches and with kind of along the lines of more years under his more years of experience under his belt so 
Um, we'll see how that goes. And then finally, we, um, as far as reading through the cast list, uh, Stellar, or Stalin, Stellan Skarsgård as Baron Vladimir Horkonen seems of, of uh, particular note, so I can't wait to see more there. Um, he's uh, one of the main actors from um, the Chernobyl TV series from HBO Max, so... Um, overall, a very big cast of characters, so um, I can't wait to see it. And then reading some of the trivia, it looks like this is going to be part one of a two-part uh, Dune film. So I'm not sure what they're going to call the second film. Um, unless they're going to call the second one maybe Children of Dune or The Fallout of Dune or something like that. But um, Or unless this Dune, this first one is a tentative title, so maybe like Dune, or sorry, Dune Uprising and Dune... Um, war or something, I don't know, some, something like that where it's part one and part two, which is probably ultimately what they're going to call it, but overall it seems like it's going to be a proper, gritty, realistic um, interpretation of Dune. Reading some of the trivia, it sounds like uh, Denis Villeneuve wanted other films under his belt and more directing experience before um, directing this film as a lifelong uh, dream of his, so Overall, it seems like it is going to be a much better presented film than the 84 version. Um, and since the film is expected to release in October of 2021, I will probably give the 84 Dune a rewatch um, just to see how that holds up. And then um, going into this film, I'll have a better comparison of the two films. I did read Dune way back in the day in my younger years, so probably around junior high to high school, so um, I'm kind of also curious to see how they handle the um, internal monologues and dialogues of the various characters, so when they're all thinking to themselves and that sort of stuff. Uh, we do have uh, Zendaya's character as a dream sequence at the start of the trailer, so I'm kind of curious how all of that uh, pans out in the film, or if they're going to um maybe um bring it all in as dream sequences and then um that sort of stuff so i'm also anticipating so with that i'm also anticipating the whole fear is a mind killer um seem to be that much better presented than the original film but um like most things we shall see how um all of that it pans out and comes together so that's really all there is for this review. Overall, it is worth checking out and gets me excited for the film. Um, I kind of wanted to just do this post as a um, heads up that the trailer is out and uh, kind of, and basically my first impressions from the trailer of what we see and um, kind of how it um, presents Dune in a better light than the 84 version of the film. So that's all there is for this particular uh, first impressions review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. And you can also um, support the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01, where you can get um, early access to um, upcoming content, bonus content, um, comment on this post there as well, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning into this particular review, and until next time.